Hello, this is Shane again with Procom Enterprises. Uh, I'm going to show you now uh, on the MVR how to playback and back up some footage from your camera. So we're going to right click here and click playback. I've already logged in, so I didn't have to put in that credential. Uh, here's my list of cameras. Uh, I can select as many as I want. It's going to show them show that in the timeline at the bottom. But uh, for this demo, I'm just going to select the front north camera. And it's, regardless of where I put this marker in the timeline, it's not really going to show anything until I hit play, and it's going to go back to the beginning of the day. So I'm going to go ahead and skip ahead to about, what is that? Uh, sorry, military time, that is uh, 2.30. And right now I'm looking for when my wife and I arrived home from our little shopping trip. It's going to be right about in there, but as you can see, since one hour is about a centimeter of change, it's really easier if we can zoom in on that area and find, uh, find our event that way. So I'm going to click the zoom in button a couple times, and now it's a lot easier to track through and see what I'm looking for. So let's see, there we are. I'm going to look for the time that we're pulling in, and what I'm going to do to mark this clip is hit the start clipping button. So that's kind of like an endpoint of where you're of where you're recording the camera that you want to see. I'm going to skip ahead here a little bit uh, when we pull in. We, uh, bring our stuff in so a little further. Go in the door, and that'll do. I'm going to pause this here and hit stop clipping. Now that's got that clip, clip marked. So now what we want to do if we want to export it is click File Management. Now here's the two files that that clip, even though it's only uh, about a minute and a half, it got split into two files. And the reason for that is when an NVR is recording video, it's not recording to just one straight file. It records it in blocks. Now this clip that at that time just happened to straddle two blocks. So, it is going to export as two files, but if you put them in a playlist, for instance in PLC or Windows Media Player, it is going to play seamlessly through as one clip. So, we're going to select all of those, I'm going to back up, I have a, have a, well here, let's, uh, let's format this drive, because I've got nothing on it that I need to keep, and then you know that you're completely ready to record. Um, let's create a new folder for this. I'm going to call it demo. Okay, that before. Alright, there's our folder and we're going to hit back up. So it's going to export those two clips. It doesn't take super long, especially in a uh, short clip like this. Um, you don't want to interrupt this process because you can corrupt your drive, unfortunately, which you wouldn't want to do. And when that's finished, it'll tell us that it's done. And we can pull our drive out. You don't have to worry about injecting it. And then you can just plug it into your PC and view the files, and you're good to go. At this point, it takes a couple extra seconds as it finishes writing the file. There it is. Okay. Now we can either click back or we can right click a couple times. Get back to our live view. And we can eject our thumb drive. And you're now ready to distribute your recording or do whatever you need to do with it.